All right, well, the stereotype of computer gamers and games is that they're all about young males, right? Well, time for a little gender equality. So the hero in a brand new game called Tomb Raider is, in fact, a heroine. Is that a kind of conscious decision not to have this helpless little female that has to get saved, but kind of the tough warrior lady? Oh, absolutely. Very much um, an Indiana Jane is our, <laughs> is our feel here. An Indiana Jones type of character um, is what we're really pushing forth. All right, now your game is, again, it's kind of a mixture, right? It's a little bit of adventure game, but a little bit of the Doom type, uh, you know, 3D world, only from a third-person perspective. Correct. Instead of using the first-person shooter games that you see a lot these days, we've incorporated a third person where the camera sits behind uh, uh -huh. the right shoulder of the character. Um, and absolutely, we incorporate the action elements, uh, some shooters, and then we also incorporate the adventure puzzle type elements. All right, let's, let's take a look now at Tomb Raider. Okay, so, this now what's is, the story here, Gary? The storyline behind this game is that um, you play Dr. Adventurer Laura Croft, and you're on a quest to find three ancient pieces of an ancient artifact called the Skion. Mm -hmm. Along the way, you're running across wolves, bats, bears, everything you can think of along the way. Now, she Actually, looks like a pretty sophisticated sprite you've got going there. Oh, absolutely. She uses 2,000 frames of animation. Um, this isn't motion capture, which is yeah. a lot different than what you've seen today. These are, uh, it's a massive 3D moving real-time environment. Um, some of the special features you'll see here is that she actually does some swimming. So you're basically traversing through caves, mm -hmm. tombs, tunnels, um, and the likeliness. So now, are there bad guys to blow up and bad guys coming to shoot me? Absolutely. Et there's, um, of course, the typical animals that you'll see, and then there's also mercenaries that will uh, you will encounter along the way. Now, there's sort of kind of a story here too, right? I mean, doesn't she get like told information which isn't quite true, and she has to figure out like who's telling the truth and who's not and stuff like that? Yes. Well. Um, She's hired by a conniving businesswoman by the name of Jacqueline Natla uh -huh. to retrieve this uh, first piece of an ancient artifact. Um, along the way, she's double-crossed, so she has to figure out what's going on, and she wants to actually solve the puzzle herself. Now, is there any talking or dialogue? How does she deal with um, that part of the game? Basically, the game is cons uh, comprised of four massive worlds mm -hmm. within 15 levels. In between the levels, there are cinematics that incorporate clues okay. and that type of thing. However, there is not, um, like, you don't... There's no dialogue. There's no dialogue say, with, right. uh, with other characters. But, I mean, how does she figure out that people are betraying her in the story? Then? Um, when other mercenaries show up and they try to kill him. Ah, okay. She, th <laughs> she thinks they're her allies, but they're not her allies. Exactly. So, okay. It's action, action, action. Absolutely. All right, so it's called Tomb Raiders, and uh, how long does it take to finish this game? Forever. Forever. It's a very <laughs> large game. Like I said, 15 levels, which some people don't think... In four different worlds. In four massive yeah. worlds, and um, this is just, I would say, a smidget a teeny, of, weeny, weeny part of what the game actually is. All right, Gary, is. thank you. All right, well, the hot new trend in computer...